Hi, and welcome back to another Monday makeup video. This video is going to be a recount of the empties, the products that I've used during the months of April, May, and June. So there's a lot to get into. I'm Jennifer Mata McMahon, and let's dive in. Okay, I have a big bag here of empties that I've been saving to show you, and there's quite a lot actually. Um, I think I'm going to organize these things by categories as I usually do, and then show you what I have. Okay, so I'm going to start with hair. There's a ton of hair products, and I think that that's where we will begin. Um, for hair, I used up and really liked this combo of Pantene Miracle Moisture Boost with Rose Water Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner. Very nice. I got them because I'm on a rose kick, as you will see, a rose scent kick, and everything that is that smells like rose. I'm into these days. So, but these were uh, actually good um, shampoo and conditioners. I I plan to repurchase them again, but right now I have others in my shower that I'm trying to use up. I also used up the I told you there was a theme. The uh, Rose Oil Infusion Swab Professionals Voluminizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is the really big, uh, the, the, the big kahuna kind of size for these. And I uh, use them up and this is, I repurchase them and this is the shampoo and conditioner that I have in my shower right now that I'm getting through. Um, I use this, then I purchase these and use this, and then I repurchase this and use this. And I, I, I kind of like going back and forth between these two right now. Um, another one that I had in my bathroom for a long time was this Aveeno Nourishing Volumizing Shampoo. And I have the conditioner still in my shower um, because I haven't been going using these as much so they've lasted in my shower a lot longer. And um, I liked it. It's good. It's, it is actually nourishing. Um, and volumizing, I don't know. My hair is really straight. <laughs> And to get it to have volume, I mean, I, I've never really had a lot of volume, but I don't spend a lot of time styling my hair either. So I don't put a lot of effort in curling it or, you know, put a lot of product to get it voluminized. Um, but this this one's okay. As I said, I'm on this rose scent kick, so I'm not really buying and using anything that doesn't have that scent right now. So this one that was more on the um, sort of natural kind of scent, I think it had either, um, mm, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to find it here. But it wasn't particularly, the scent wasn't bad, but it wasn't the rose scent that I was looking for. The other uh, products that I use after I wash and shampoo and condition my hair, I usually put in detangling products because my hair, even if I brush it before I go into the shower, when I, after I wash it and come out of the shower, I put it in a towel and when I take the towel out, it's my hair is all tangled. So I really need these uh, leave-in conditioners and I have this Pantene one leave-in conditioner spray. It's a repair and protect a detangler spray. I used it all up and repurchased it and I have this uh, L'Oreal Elvive Total Repairs Protein Recharge. It's almond and protein and it's a leave-in conditioner but it's in a, in a cream formula. And then what I do is I spray this one and then I put in the cream into my hair and I have dual leave-in conditioner in there. Um, that might be one of the reasons why my hair doesn't curl but really um, because it has all this product that is supposed to uh, not straighten it, but at least detangle it. And, but I don't really um, 
curl my hair or put any product to voluminize it and curl it. I had, I attempted to do that and then I would buy the products and then don't use them which is why this product is fairly um, full but then the, the spray doesn't work. See? So I said okay this, this needs to go because I've had it for forever, I don't use it. This is the Lamar Vita E with or Vita Vitamin with Vitamin E. It's a brushable whole uh, professional hair spray, and it's and I bought it because of that because it wasn't a full on hardcore um, hold on my hair, but it was you could put your hands through it, you could brush it, you could and it wouldn't feel like cardboard, which I really don't like on hairsprays, but. I use it so sparingly that the sprayer went bad before I could even use up the whole hairspray. This one I highly recommend. I use this one all up. Um, uh, I bought two more. I buy these on Amazon. They come in a two pack and it's a hair um, revitalizing hair solution. So it's a hair growing product. And it's from Gal Galderma Kilib is, is what it's called. And this one is for women. They have one that is for men as well. I have found that spraying this in my hair, and I go through the parts of my hair that are, I think, where I'm losing the most hair. I lose hair like there's no tomorrow. I sometimes wonder why I'm not completely bald because there's so much of my hair everywhere. When I vacuum the hair, and even after I shower when I untangle my hair on the floor of the bathroom. There's a ton of hair and hair coming out of the brush that I use or the comb that I use. Hair everywhere. And even throughout the day if my hair is um, loose, I'll find hairs like stuck to my sweaters, on my back. It was, it's like it's hair central, right? If I put it up in a bun, then when I take the bun out, then the hair, all the hair that was like being contained there just suddenly comes off of my head and, and lands everywhere. But I have two specific areas, like right here and right here, where I feel like there is where I'm, there is where the baldness is starting to be noticeable. And what I do is I spray this, it's just a, a sprayer, and I spray this on these areas and sort of massage it and leave it in. And what I do is, you're supposed to do it twice a day. I rarely do it twice a day. I do it once a day and maybe even every other day. Um, and I think that maybe if I did it more consistently, I would have better results. But it is what it is right now. I do it when I wash my hair and my hair is wet, I'll spray this in. And then I'll either let my hair air dry or, like today my hair has been air dried, or I... Um, blow dry it and either way it's, it works because um, my hair is already wet. This is going to be a really liquidy substance that is going to get your hair wet. I also apply it sometimes at night before I go to sleep so if I know that my hair is dirty and that the next day I'm going to wash it I'll apply it at night massage it, leave it there, it's going to be wet, and just go to sleep with my with that the product in my hair. It's really good. I've seen growth. I don't know if you can see it here, but I've seen like little hairs and growth, and this is all like new, new hair that is coming from this area where I target <laughs> this product. Again, it, I, I get it from Amazon. It's really good. Highly recommend it. My mom recommended it to me, and I love it. I used up these two uh, dry shampoos. This is from Collab, the Dry Shampoo Dreamer and the Dreamer uh, Fragrance. Mm, it was okay, but didn't really love it. It was just a regular dry shampoo. I didn't see anything special. I used up this Aveeno. Um, this one I really didn't like, but I bought it because rose water scent. And um, rose water and chamomile blend the the dry shampoo from Aveeno. I used it up because I had purchased it but really didn't particularly love it. The ones that I do love are the Batiste ones and I used two of these up. 
the Batiste Dry Shampoo Coconut and Exotic Tropical Scent. Really good. Really liked it. I've had this many times, but then I discovered the rose one. Uh, they have a pretty and delicate rose gold uh, dry shampoo. I love it. I've had many of these. I've repurchased this many times. I, I have like two, one that I'm using and two backups um, of this rose gold because I don't know if it's, I, I discovered it, it was new to me and when I discovered it I didn't know it was, it was um, sort of a special edition that they were just going to have for a few uh, months and then take it away or not. So I bought a lot of them just in case and I'm going through them. I really like this Batiste one and particularly the rose gold fragrance because why not. Okay, so for face I used up um, moisturizer. This is uh, collagen uh, placenta cream which sounds a little disgusting but it's really good. And it goes on your face um, a little bit sticky, but it absorbs quickly. And I just put it on my face at night and sleep in it. And then the next day, my face is really, really soft. So I, I like this. I've had two of these. Um, it smells nice. It has a scent, but it's very faint. Um, and... I would totally repurchase it, but I'm using a L'Oreal one that I want to go through and I've had for a long time. And I have a Paula's Choice one that I also want to go through before I buy any more of these. But I would totally repurchase this and, and recommend it. I also got this via Amazon, so if you're looking for it, um, you could find it there. I um, used up two cleansers. One is the Aveeno Positively Radiant one, Brightening Cleanser. I typically have this one in my shower and I'll, I'll, this is what I wash my face with in my shower. I really like it. I have one in my shower right now that is on its way down and I have another one as a backup so I would totally recommend this one. This one um, I bought uh, from Paula's Choice. It's the clear pore normalizing cleanser. Uh, for blemish prone skin and my skin has had a little bit of issues with blemishes lately so I, I bought this but bought this thinking that it would help with that and it was nice I liked it but it's a little it's a gel and it's a little bit um, stripping of moisture and so after you wash your face with this your face feels a little bit tight a little bit like it has um, I believe it has um, some sort of formula that really uh, dries your skin because it's more formulated for oily skin which I don't have I have combination skin and um, I'm just my nose is my only oily area everything else is normal to dry so I would not buy this again it's good but it's just not the best product for my skin type the other uh, Paula's Choice product that I bought used up, repurchased, and repurchased again, is this uh, exfoliate. It's a 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid. This thing is great. I use it at night. I wash my face and take. if I was wearing makeup that day, I'll take off my makeup, I'll double cleanse, do, do another uh, cleanser on my face, and then put this on the bomb. This is, I mean, everybody raves about it for a reason and I have I really, really like the way it has um, dealt with the texture in my skin and has helped me with blemishes, with breakouts, with salicylic acid and this thing is the bomb. I also used up from Paula's Choice this, which is, I I'm one of those people that wants to use up at the last bit of it, so I cut my products and make sure that I get up until the last drop. This is the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And it's a, for me, it does several things. It serves as a moisturizer, it serves as an SPF. And because it has a little bit of tint, it could even serve as like a BB cream or 
um, or a CC cream, something that I will put on in the morning under my makeup or if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll just put this on and that's, that would be what I have as a base, as a foundation for my face. So really like this. I bought this many times before. I'm still using it. I have one that I'm using right now and I already repurchased another one for when that one um, comes to an end. I love this thing. Highly recommend it. The other thing that I've used up that I also love and highly recommend, I use two of them, is this Pond's Cleansing Balm. It's um, a balm that goes from solid to kind of oily. Like it's, it turns kind of like an oil. Um, and I put this directly on my face to get all the makeup off. It breaks down mascara, it breaks down um, eyeliner, everything. It takes off everything. And I'll take off my makeup with this and then I'll go in with a cleanser like the Aveeno one or right now I have a Paula's Choice one that I'm using. And then my face is ready for toner and moisturizer and, and all of the rest of my nighttime routine for my face. Two of these highly recommend. It also has a scent. It's It has the scent I find it very calming. I know that some people have said that they don't like this scent, but I really do. I like the scent. It works for me. The product is awesome. It's like about $9.50 or $9.99 or something like that. And it's, uh, to me, it's comparable to the Clinique Take the Day Away. And um, I've heard that there's another one, I think it's from Physicians Formula that is also very good but I haven't tried it. I'm sticking with this one because it's tried and true for me. The other thing I went through completely was a mask. This is rare for me to go through a mask. This one is from L'Oreal. It's the Pure Clay Mask Argyle Pure and it's the blue one. I really like this one so much that I used it all up and I would highly recommend it. I would repurchase it if I didn't have so many masks that I need to go through right now. So that one. Okay, so now let's move to makeup or makeup products. Um, I went through an entire all-nighter which is the Urban Decay setting spray that I love. I've gone through many of these. I have another one because I bought a two-pack and a, some sort of deal or offer. And uh, this one is the Scandinavian one that is the same formula, practically the same formula, because I think they're made in the same lab. It, th this one is by Scandinavia, so the Scandinavian one and this one are the same thing. And um, love it, would totally buy it again. I went through this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula swivel stick. It's the ultimate moisturizing stick. I use it for my lips, but you could use this on any scar, on any um, dry area that you have, like on your hands, oops, as a lotion or on your cuticles. I use it as a lip balm and love this thing. I've had several in the past and I finished this one and I bought a new one because I really, this is the one I love. And it's, I think it's under $3, so really worth the price. I also went through an e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and I loved it. I finally bought it. I was in my year of, my no-buy year last year and I, and when it came out, and I really wanted to try it, and I couldn't because I was in a no-buy. And this year, I got it, and bought it, and used it up until the last, I was like, scraping like look this looks like it was licked down by max but no i used it all up fantastic i really loved it i repurchased i i didn't repurchase it because i bought the tatcha one i wanted to compare the tatcha and the elf and so i bought the tatcha one i just had a little bit of this one left and this one is a little more drying they both are Pore filling and blurring, but the Tatcha one is uh, creamier, more moisturizer. This one is a little drier, and um, I don't know. I, I it, it didn't necessarily bother me, but sometimes when I went to 
crazy with it and put it in areas that were already dry, like around my eyes, um, it didn't. It didn't do me any favors. Whereas the Tatcha one, if it goes up until like under my eye area, because I, I start with my nose and right here on the sides of my nose, and then I go to my chin and my forehead, and if I have any blemishes or any scars or any on the sides of my cheek, I'll do that as well. And sometimes in doing that, it spreads up to under my eye. And that is my driest area of my face. So I don't want to put a dry primer. <laughs> A mattifying primer there right and this does mattify a bit more than the Tatcha. The Tatcha is too emollient to be mattifying so I like them both but I think that depending on your skin one would probably be better than the other so if you're more oily this one the matte this one because it mattifies on top of blurring your pores would be better if you are more dry or or normal to dry skin, then I think the Tatcha one would probably be best for you. The other things from e.l.f. that I also used up were this. Uh, it's a corrector pen from e.l.f. Um, it doesn't really have a name on the pen, but it, that's how I, it, I use it to correct. When I, Every time I put on my mascara, it tends to travel and it'll smudge underneath my eyes or on top of my um, eyelids and I'll go in with this and clean it up. I've had many of these pens. I still have one. I have one that I'm using right now that I just opened when this one went kaput and um, I'm loving it. I use it every day. Uh, the other thing I love and use very frequently is the e.l.f. Um, brow pencil and it has, I love the spoolie, I use the spoolie all the time but I love the, the pencil and this one of course is all used up. I bought this many times and I get the color taupe. Hmm. I thought I got the neutral one and I think I need the neutral one. The taupe is a little bit too light for me and the dark brown is way too dark for me. So there must be, I think there's an in-between one um, that is my perfect color. I love this thing. Another thing that I went through that I also love is this Lottie London Mocha Eyeliner. It's, uh, the color is brown. I sharpened it until I couldn't sharpen it anymore. And the, the thing is, the last time I sharpened it, the little bit of uh, liner that was in there came out. So it's completely empty right now. I love this thing. I've had, this is I think my second one, and I have another one of these. I'm going through my Milk um, I think it's a CEO, the brown one, right now, but um, I love this as well. Love it. And I, as I said, I already have another one in the, in the, in the shelf ready to be used whenever I, I need it. Okay, so the last part was miscellaneous, but I just realized it didn't record. So... And I chucked the things that I had already. So I'm going to just show you a few uh, random miscellaneous. And I, I had other ones. No, that I had other ones. But I just, for some reason, lost the footage. Or it, it just didn't ever record. I didn't realize it was not recording. So the lighting is a little bit off. I'm trying to do my best because now it's nighttime here. And here we go. Um, so... I uh, took all of this, all of these 100 or, or yeah, 200 tablets of vitamin C supplement, 500 milligrams. I started this before um, the COVID-19 hit, but I figured that now that we were in this health pandemic, it was a really good thing for me to continue to take these vitamins and take them um, through to, to improve my immune system. They're really good, they're the chewable ones. I like the flavor, I like the taste of them. And I already bought another um, pack of these um, to continue taking them. I had another empty of, of um, base that I use as a base coat for my nails. I do my nails every week at home and my homemade manis that I post um, and I use a OPI Nail Envy base coat. It's fantastic. I've used it for many years. I used up one that I was going to show you, but I tossed 
um, prematurely tossed away and um, I have already purchased a new one of those so I have that um, and I'm using it I used it to do my nails the, the new one the last thing I wanted to show you that is a empty is this pen this is the pilot perfect v5 rt pen in green i love using this pen to write i have a blog in which i post and write since about 2006 and it used to be called my 33 people and now it is called life is too short to write with the wrong pen and this this is the right pen so i've been using this since I think 2005 I've been writing with this pen I discovered it then and I've been writing in green everything um, I don't know why I like to write in green but green is my preferred color of writing it used to be blue and and I like to write in blue every now and then but really um, I love writing in green especially the things that have to do with spirituality which is my line of inquiry and um, I I don't know. I don't know why. I just I like writing in green. And I've made I've gone through many many of these. So this is all done. I don't know if they sell uh, refills for this kind of pen. I just you know go through one and, and get another one. I recently bought um, a pack of seven of different colors, all sort of like cool toned blues and purples and magentas and a black. Um, of these and now I use them for everything. I write everything and everywhere I write I'll have one of these pens like next to my nightstand, next to my journal, next to my dream journal, next to my tarot notebook, next to my uh, computer in my desk and at work I bought a box of greens and, and so I had brought some home and have them all scattered. I have one in my purse as well. So I love this pen, highly recommend it. If you don't like this pen at least, look for a pen that you do like because I do think that the title of my blog is true. Life is too short to be writing with the wrong pen. So get yourself the right pen and stick to it. That's it folks. Thank you for, for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video and spending some time with me. I really appreciate it and I will see you again soon. Bye.